It started off as a simple character, Sonic. And I used to think that Batman was a superhero, but now I know that he's a regular hero. He doesn't have any superpowers. And he fights. And he all and he usually wins without any superpowers. Shorty. Super Shorty. Go through these, you go, go across the little beds, so you're now with either one of those tubes, go through the tires, go over the neck. There used to be 180 people living here. Then we dwindled down to eight. It was so friendly with kids riding their bicycles around and everybody had little gardens and it was very nice here. This is the last mobile home park in, in Nassau County. It's just a shame that it has to come to an end. The end of a, a beautiful community. They started delivering eviction notices to everybody in the park. We've had eviction warrants off and on for years. Because we've been in court, we've managed to stay some of them. So I don't know, is this the final hurrah? Is this the end? Where am I going? Shorty thinks that for his birthday, he's going to get this gigantic house because his birthday is the end of January. But they told him that, you know, honey, we might be in a homeless shelter for your birthday. As long as we're together, everything will be fine until we find a place. Whoever signed over their properties to STP, we saw their places promptly get crushed. STP wants you out, you've lost, that's it, pack up your stuff and go. So where am I going? The main people that are left are the severely sick and disabled or people like myself with kids. So it gets a little, you know, the people that are left really are the truly desperate, hard to rent to. Is this the final hurrah? Is this the end? Do I, you know, will we be given more time? So I really don't know. And the more questions I ask, the less answers I get. So the kids at school, I know they say like rough stuff about me living here, but not too rough when I'm at school, but on the bus it's very rough. We don't ever get invited to somebody's houses. They've got no real school friends that they hang out with. I mean, Jonathan's very much a homebody. When I did his birthday party, he didn't have any friends from the school. It was all his cousins. I think he knows that if we don't find a place, we're gonna be in a homeless shelter. I didn't have a play date in school once because I live in a trailer park and I think it's like going to your friend's house or having a friend come to your house for a day. Okay. You want some cookies? I got mine. Where are yours? <laughs> I have been here 35 plus years. And it's a shame what they've done to this trailer park. We've had a very beautiful community here. And you get to, you get to the outsiders that say, yes, we're riffraff, but we're not riffraff. We never were. This is this is my home. This isn't this isn't a, this is not trailer trash. I don't want it to be too late for us. I want I want a, a good Samaritan to come here and say, you know what? You guys have gave this one hell of a fight. I have nowhere to go. And I'm not leaving without a fight. 
There's got to be something somebody can do. Please help us. A good fight or battle scene is probably like a fa like a place kind of like hell. Don't worry, I'll save you. Wait, do you think you can edit to make it look like there were lasers coming out of my eye when I was like this? Outside from my house, like in the whole trailer park, would be a great battle scene because you can throw people and I would fight them with my words. Like Martin Luther King. I've been down to the town, I've been down to the courts, I've been down to the police, and they all tell me that there's nothing they can do. I just have to live with it. They all said, well, if you have a problem, just pack up and move. That's not so easy when you're, you know, living below poverty level. I'm looking for a miracle or I'm looking for somebody to, st I do really hope somebody can step in and say, you know, whether it be a judge, whether it, any kind of superhero to come in and save either the park or the park for the school year. I've heard that the sheriff can come, knock on my door, like my kids will go to school. I will walk Shawnee to the bus and as I'm walking home from the bus, I will watch the sheriff's trucks pull in unless I find a place. Okay, so now what you do is you open this up and just keep squeezing and squeezing. Now, this is the hard part, getting the seeds into your hands. When I move, we're gonna plant these small sunflower seeds. I think the bigger they are, the bigger the sunflowers are gonna be. Whether it be upstate North Carolina, New Orleans, California, wherever we end up landing, I'm hoping that it's a nice fresh start and a new beginning, you know, to start a whole new chapter. Now to go into the pod. Is that so cool though? Like even if evil wins, you can you can always have belief in, in um, good. And belief is the best superpower anyone could have. So anyone could be a superhero. private property, everybody outside today. You're not moving fast enough. I'll have to call okay. the police. It's 11.30 tonight. They said if I don't leave in an hour, they're locking me out, they're boarding up my house, and I'm not getting my money. Fine, so they wait, told me I have to leave in an hour, no, no, no. and I'm not okay. getting my money. No, 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 I don't no, need no, that no. If you don't stop photographing me, I mean, honestly. You want the thousand? I'll rip it up. I can't, head. I can't go without him. I'm ready, I'm, I'm you know, it's, it's no joke. I'm ready to party here in England, I don't want him. Why did you change the zoning for that piece of property? The plan, which will be submitted to the town of Munster Bay Review. I don't, I don't need this. You, you made my kids sick. You put me in the hospital, you put Bob in the hospital. You're not even going to get a warning. They're just going to come and take your stuff. If you don't leave, they'll come and evict you anyway. And they won't give you the money. But if you leave, they give you the money. There's nothing else. It means nothing else.
when a superhero doesn't save the day, it's like um, sometimes they lose and then they save the day. I don't know what else to do or, do or say. To live underneath some underpass in a cardboard box? Or to live in some homeless shelter? I've lost it. I've lost everything. I've lost... I feel like I've lost a, my best friend. You know, you gotta remember, I've been here since 85. I've seen people come, I've seen people go. And like I said, I, I've been here, this is really the only place that I've known where I got roots and I, I stayed eight years later. You know what, we had him on the ropes for eight years. We gave him one hell of a fight for eight years. It's just, this place has died before I'm ready to give up. I hope you have a great year at your new school. You are a very wonderful person, and I will miss you so much. Sincerely, your friend, Jesse Namkun. Dear Sean, I will miss you very much. I always want to be your friend, but I never had the chance to say it. And happy birthday to you, your best friend, Joshua Lim. Eight years ago, we started with 100 and there was actually 124 units in this park. And eight, year, eight years later, we're down to nine. The next thing is the sheriff is gonna come along and evict us. I'm going way, way up into the state of New York. The place I'm going to is a population of 500. And I'm hoping it's a, a, a tight-knit community like we had here. We had a very tight-knit community. Well, the future is uncertain, so I don't know how well, you know, we'll find out. It's a new chapter. I'm very nervous. Very, very nervous. We're going to a very small town and a place, you know, I'm just, I'm scared. Like, I feel like I'm stepping off a cliff and I don't know if this parachute that I'm wearing is going to open or if I'm going to come crashing burning. Or maybe it'll open and I'll have a, I'll be able to fly. I don't know. At first I didn't see a dog. There was just oh, a wait, no. another one so we're gonna see what God got ready for us up there. Okay? Okay. Oh, 
house. 